Vivi and Luffy are related. Hello One Piece enthusiasts, I'm the One Piece nerd and today let's talk about One Piece chapter 1085. Well, I took a long deserving break because I didn't feel like I had enough ideas to post. Now, well, with this banger chapter, I think I've got a few more ideas. Let's begin. Not gonna go over the cover page, we continue where we left off with Cobra meeting Im Sama and this time around, Im Sama decided to answer a few questions for us. Oda, as usual, he intends on trying to reveal mysteries of the world, ends up creating more anyways. So, sort of like, yeah, we got a few answers, but we got more questions than answers, dude. So, where do we begin? Um, I'm gonna be lackluster going all over the place. Uh, let's just start with, just, you know, Oda saying whatever he wanted to say with, you know, Vivi and Luffy being related. So Nefertari uh, Lily, who was the founding, uh, who was the founder of Alabaster Kingdom, was one of the twenty kings that first introduced the world government. She was one of them, and in fact, she was a member of D. And with that being said, you also have D's as the en as the enemies of gods, or rather, the enemy of Im Sama. And apparently, Lily made a blunder. From the world government's perspective, Lily made a blunder, which is why the Poneglyphs still exist, and which is why pirates from all over the world still wants to find the One Piece, and the world government can't do anything to remove it. Aside from that, well, we've got the whole, uh, of course, the Vivi situation. I mean, of course, you have King Cobra, who... When he wanted to ask these questions, it's like the Gorosei knew that this was coming. It's like, it's about time that he figured out that, you know, King Cobra was going to be here with the information. And they were sort of prepared that, okay, it's time to finish off King Cobra, which is why Vivi got abducted and apparently she escaped with Wapol. And Wapol is the third person aside from... Cobra and Sabo that knows about Im Sama. Wapol out of everyone. It should be Wapol. You've got to be kidding me. Now I think I know where everything goes. Morgans, uh, it makes sense why Vivian, uh, Wapol, and Morgans were together. This is about to take an interesting turn. Uh, aside from all that, so Im Sama is, uh, so Im, the word Im, as Cobra stated, it was mentioned that this person was one of the 20 kings that first founded the world government. We are still not sure about the gender because uh, Eam said uh, something along the lines of they. Eam refers to itself as they. Or I don't even know, dude. Like at this point, I'm like, just reveal the face already. You've revealed the powers, you've revealed, you know, what it truly is. Now just do the face reveal. So speaking of powers, I know I'm going all over the place because I've got so much to talk about. I'm going to make a separate video on what the power is, but from what it seems, Im could also be pronounced as Mu, which is also called Void in Japanese. So, and what whatever Im used to sort of uh, basically stab Cobra and Sabo, it's apparently Void. So it's basically a better version of Blackbeard's Fruit. So, the perfect user of the CC fruit, which I wanted to make for a very long time. Uh, this was a theory in my head for a very long time. That if anyone's going to have the CC fruit, it's going to be Im Sama. Because the word Imu can be reversed as Umi. Umi referring to C. And if there's anyone who can nullify double fruit abilities, I thought it would be Im. But this is a much more complicated and a much more interesting power. That has been given to potentially the final villain of One Piece. And with that being said, uh, so Vivi needs to know that Luffy is related to her by blood. And I've also got an amazing video coming up. I feel like it's about time I have enough information to make this video. I'm just giving you guys a heads up. Uh, you guys will see a future video expecting uh, very, very soon with all the princesses like Vivi, uh, Shirahoshi, 
Rebecca, not really, but mostly Vivi, Shirahoshi, and one mysterious person, which I will not be mentioning in this video. But keep an eye out for that. It's going to be interesting. Aside from that, Vivi and Luffy being, you know, family members sort of makes sense. Nefertari D. Vivi. Mm -mm, yeah, yeah, got it. Like somehow referring to Joy Boy. And from what it seems, Joy Boy's affiliation with Shirahoshi, Joy Boy's affiliation with Nefertari family, and Nefertari being a D, of course. Like, you know, with everything like Nefertari family, but remember, people who have the poneglyphs, the places where the poneglyphs, where important poneglyphs are left, were allies of the D clan. And Nefertari D. Lily was definitely a D member. And I feel like that has something to do with Joy Boy. Um, it's gonna be pretty huge. And I remember Mr. Morge making a video very recently saying that the prophesized, you know, people, the prophesized meeting was going to be Vivi and Shirahoshi. It could either be Vivi or Shirahoshi, or it could either be Luffy and Vivi. So, of course, this is, this is definitely very, very, very interesting. I'm not going to take a deep dive in this because not this is not territory that I specialize in. So, with that being said, Sabo escapes with this information known to the world. And it's about to get out very, very soon. With the Revolutionary Army being the most direct opponent of the world government. Getting to know this information... And if they somehow can reveal to the world that Eam Sama does exist, it's over for the world government. They are going to collapse very, very, very soon. Speaking of collapsing and the world government, Fujitora made a blunder, not accidentally. He let the revolutionaries release the prisoners. Ryokogu, obviously, being the sort of what you might call henchman of Akainu, got very pissed. And it seems as though, yeah, Fujitora does not like the way the world government is doing it. He is actively, not actively, I'm um, passively, let's say, trying to make sure that the world government do not do stupid shit. So, yeah, Fujitora, I don't, like, like most people agree, I don't see Fujitora being a part of the Marines at the final war. So that's something to look forward to. Uh... Really, really interested to see how far Fujitora can go with whatever he's doing by himself. But if he teams up with Garp, or somehow sides with Luffy at the end of the war, or by the time the war starts, it's about to get very, very interesting. Now, Luffy on the other hand, okay, Vivi needs to know that Luffy's related. Luffy on the other hand does not really care. So I don't really know where that's gonna go. Everything's all over the place again. Uh, Eam Sama has very interesting powers, and from what I might, what I see, it's about to get spicy. It's about to get very, very spicy. I don't think we're going to see any more of Reverie or whatever happened in Reverie. I think this is it. This is pretty much it. We're gonna be left with a cliffhanger. We're gonna move on to Egghead Island, but there is a few things to talk about within the chapter, which I will do in the future video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day, and peace.